returning from Kenya. This is the beginning of the Uncle Mo from Kenya and Chris Musler's excellent adventure. We're taking a road trip via motorcycle to the Maasai Mara because Uncle Mo out there has never ever seen a lion or a giraffe or a, a hyena or a cheetah or a leopard. So we're going to document our journey to the Maasai Mara. I welcome you to stay tuned. Have some fun with us. I promise it's going to be an adventure of a lifetime. Here's Uncle Mo. Rasta Mo. Rasta Mo. I need a Kenyan flag to make this road trip official. Everybody looking at us like we're, we're crazy. We're definitely from uh, a different part of the world. What would you like nice to drink? Let us drink then and we go on with the journey. Then we continue on. Hello. Hi. Do you have to drink? What do you have? Hello, what's your name? <laughs> ah. uh, what do you have to drink? Fanta. What do you want to drink for you? I like Kunyo Gani. Oh, there's two. Two drinks. Okay. Good choice. And what about candy? What's your favorite candy? Let's pick a candy for you. A sweet. Sweet. Okay. Those are the good ones? Okay. How much is that going to cost? Okay, let's get some sweets for all the kids. We, we'll spend spend the rest of the money. How much is this? Share. Share. How much, is, how much money is left? Here. Share. So, Uncle Mo. Let us continue. We're going to leave in 30 seconds. Yeah, let us go on the now. We can go on this. Have you seen a lion before? No. Giraffe? I've never seen those things. What animal have you seen? You live here in Africa. What animal have you seen? Rabbit. Zebra? Yeah. We're just rabbit? Yeah. What else? No. Leopard? Rabbit too. Cheetah? No. Nothing? Nothing. I think, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised that you've never seen an animal. And you live in the village of Kenya. <laughs> I thought you have not, have not moved from Nyabuansi. Yeah, so you yeah. never left the village. Only yeah. to go to Nairobi. I've never seen them. Never seen it. So are you excited? I'm much excited. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> so we got about an hour to the closest gate, uh, Masai Mara. So we'll continue on. I usually see things on the drawing on, on a camera. But the yeah. really, really, really. The real like thing. You want to touch one? Even if it's possible, it, I do this way. Yeah, which one? The lion? Ah, <laughs> lion, can you see The bum, the bum. <laughs> what do you think? We could do it. Let us see, let us see. <laughs> but you have a little space, we can we can buy some meat from the butcher shop. We, and, we keep. Yeah, we keep. So the smell of the meat, it attracts the predator. Yeah, we can, we can. Then when we're on our bike, maybe we have a better chance of seeing. But maybe they, they don't allow to give them, uh, to give animal food. We won't tell anyone. No one watches my videos. <laughs> yeah, we let us do the same. Yeah, we should, right? Yeah. Okay, we got a long, dirty drive in this little village that we stopped. We're probably the only tourist that's ever stopped here. Because <laughs> there's quite the commotion. Yeah. They're like, who is this guy and why is he stopping here? Uh, but, oh, look at the mud houses. Do you feel at home here? Yeah, there is, there is their, their home. Goes the way you see the environment is different. Yeah. Yeah. So we're 
about two thirds of the way there. Hello. And look at the sky. The darkness is overtaking us. We're ill prepared. What do you guys think? <laughs> Are we about to get a, a, a bath? Ooh. This is the shortcut, but it's a bumpy road. Tell us, Uncle Mo, your first zebra? For the first time. <laughs> Man, let's enjoy the moment. Come on. Maybe you're ready to Let's enjoy the moment. Uncle Mo's first uh, pack of zebras. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five zebras. They're beautiful. You don't even run away. <laughs> now that they see us getting off the bike. One, two, three, four, five. Real, 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 real. <laughs> real animals. <laughs> Hold this for a sec, Uncle Mo. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you can just see those animals. They don't run away. For the first time we seen a zebra, one meter. <laughs> you think we can catch up to them? I think right now we. <laughs> Go. On. Let's see. You don't think we can get a little closer? Come on, Uncle Mo. Let's get a little closer. You know, boundaries are meant to be broken. Hey, this is Uncle Mo. Wagwan. Wagwan. <laughs> Amazing, no? Anytime, anytime now we're going to see some giraffes. Because where there are zebras, there are definitely giraffes. Wagwan. They don't run away. <laughs> Come on, we go a little closer. You want to see them? I'm wondering if they don't run Wow, away. those are some big thorns. Look at those. We still, we're right in front of the rain. Wow. Come on, we only live once, Mo. Look how big they are. Don't be afraid. Uncle Mo is your friend. <laughs> they are very healthy, huh? Look how big and strong those back legs are. Okay. I think if you run real fast, you can catch up. Uh. <laughs> What's grazing them here? <laughs> so, your first wild animal in Africa, what do you think? Eh, this is amazing. Isn't it? More exciting. If someone can give me this one, I can go and I can eat the meat because they are healthy. <laughs> see, see, they are healthy. Man, Mo, all he does is think about eating. Look, look here. He doesn't want a picture with the zebra or pet it or ride it. He wants to eat it. Before we continue, what's the next wild animal we're going to see? I don't know because I, this is the first time we're seeing the zebra next to me. Only two meters. One meter. Yeah. Seven of them. <laughs> I, think, I think it's going to be a giraffe. My choice is a giraffe. Man, let us see. Let, let, so you're not going to make a choice? What's your choice? I cannot choose because I didn't even expect you to see Zebra here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it is a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> it is a miracle 
and we're just before the rain. The thunder is is really crackling up in the sky. But we shall continue. gonna change gears and hold the camera I gotta put this camera away yeah but you have my friend you don't have a rag I could do that I don't want to get this all over me you have a rag? Up? No. No. It is here. It is here. This rag. <laughs> yeah. Where can you put your towel and wrap on the plate? So let's give it to my friend here. Adi, Jai. Hey, where where can you put your towel? You put your towel. You where can I put the towel? I'm sorry for me. Yeah, where can I put it up? Get some zebra by the side of the street. Uncle Mo's really excited, as am I. I've seen zebras before all over Africa, but still a magical moment to be here when someone else witnesses uh, wildlife like this for the first time, especially an African. There's a baby by the cross in the street. So we're about 12 to 15 kilometers from the, the gate, the entrance. We'll be looking for somewhere to stay for the night. I still have a Pretty strong feeling we're going to see some draft before we hit the, the entrance. We're not allowed to enter. There's a fee to enter, so tomorrow morning we'll actually enter the park. And no, not on a motorcycle. I got a lot of messages saying that motorcycles cannot enter the park. Yes, I'm quite aware of that. The idea was to uh, make the drive to the park on a motorcycle and then get into like a Range Rover a safari truck. Kenya. Agumo should be quite excited. I'm pretty sure you've seen monkeys before, but uh, I'm also seeing gazelles here with the zebra. My battery's dead or I would zoom in for you. Tomorrow, when we're out exploring, I'll zoom into the animals with my iPhone. Look, Mo! Look, gazelle, the monkeys, see the monkeys? On the rock, the two monkeys and the gazelles. How much excited here animals than so big. You see the two monkeys sitting on the rock cleaning each other. Gazelle. Gazelle. Yeah. So many animals here. See them? A group. Not far. Yeah. Everywhere we go, we're going to see animals. But which way would you like to go? Left or right? Which Look. Do do There's a lot of camps are going this way. Lodge, club. So I think this way. We go this way? Yeah, I think so. My GPS has had it. Battery is dead. Let's go this way. Can we see? Yeah, the same thing. No, no, let the, the boy play, not you. Yeah. <laughs> the boy. Let's see. Can you play? So we stop for a moment to try to figure out where we're going to sleep tonight. And it seems like the hotels are either like a thousand plus dollars or they're two more hours away. So. Beautiful. You are my
Masai. You have animals here? Or no animals? No. So we're stuck. What happened? I'm, I'm, I was putting credits here because I was carrying watches, you know. What do you think, Uncle Mo? Your, your first drive. Oh, wonderful. For the first time we sing a giraffe with the look how many animals there are. Ooh, I'm gonna fall. So we're not in the national park, we're still on the outskirts, but as you can see, there are quite a few animals. We are outside here, on the road. <laughs> we made it. Wow! So far I've seen three, uh, four animals. Yeah, and those little guys, and the monkeys. Plus the monkeys. And the, the big birds. The big giant I've seen it too. I've seen zebra and the tall animals, the big five. No. That one is <laughs> another big five. <laughs> oh yeah, not the total five. Yeah. <laughs> you got lots left to see. We got yeah. fast. Hey. Wants to catch up to the family. They're all babies, only one adult. Uh, do you identify there are two colors here? Mm -hmm. This one is different and that one is different. But the pattern remains the same. It's the Masai Mara pattern. But this so, one it is like white. This one is like red. Yeah. Maybe it's still a baby. There is an, a taller animal than this one. A that giraffe that is taller than this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. There, there. There's only one adult there. The rest are babies. Okay. Give a video like. <laughs> If you've seen a giraffe in your life, give the video a like. Yeah, I'm very excited. See, I see, I, even though not to only myself wondering, even to see my neighbor here is wondering. Yeah. Seeing a giraffe. Amazing, and we haven't even entered the park yet. Let's try to get to the campground before the sun goes down. Go, go. Go what? Yeah. What's happening? Mo. No problem. Kondo. <laughs> oh, what's funny? Tell me. <laughs> tell me, you're funny. Laughing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How far is it? Uh, very far. Yeah, tell me. So. It's far away? You got a baby goat. Yes. That man gave me the smile, the same smile a hustler gives me right before he tries to take money from me. So, curious to know what's happening. What's happening? The guy is asking if we have 1,000 Kenyan shillings. For what? We, for showing us. If we don't have, we, we send for him with him person in that boarding in the Philippines. Okay, station. then tell him no. We're okay. We are okay. Let us go. Go. No, we're not interested. You're trying to, trying to charge too much. <laughs> we ask him for directions. He wants a thousand Kenyan shillings, which is a lot of money. Hello. Oh, look at the little goat. Can I see? The baby. Oh, there's mommy. Oh, oh. Mommy. Mommy? Can you see? Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> Chris, even yeah. this guy doesn't know where head, we are heading. So he asked for money and he still doesn't even know where we're going. That doesn't make no sense. The place we are heading to Chris, how do we call it? 
Well, look how far we are. I don't think, I think we're going the wrong way. We're the wrong way. Melting pot. He doesn't speak English, so he's not going to understand. You know what, Mo? We go into town, we have something to relax and eat, and then we concentrate. I need to charge my phone. I'm not, I'm not getting it. Yeah, we'll go there. I'm not paying this. This guy won a thousand. Come on, man. Let us remain here. Even the guy doesn't know what they're telling us. I know. Let's go. Let us go and look for the house here. Yeah. We were there for the night. We're good. Said it before and I'll say it again. <laughs> Can't hustle a hustler. It's impossible. I, I read right through the lies. Impossible. Now he wasted his time and he wasted our time, bringing us somewhere that doesn't even make any sense. After seven hours of motorcycle riding, I think I got like, I got a stuffy nose, throat feels a little bit off, so if it's a flu or some kind of something. Here's our spot. What I can tell you is the prices here in Masai Mara really, really, really vary. I was looking on, online when, when we were driving and I saw some places as much as a thousand US dollars per night, then all these additional fees, like $70 for this, this, $80 for this. Okay, so <clears throat> we stopped here, side of the road, and found two rooms for a hundred US dollars. So, very quickly, this is what the room looks like. I'm not gonna last too long, so I'm gonna fall asleep. Mo has his own. I think this is for the hot water. And there is hot water and soap, which I'm gonna enjoy in a few minutes. Really and truly, I need nothing else. It is about 8 o'clock and I am beat. I'm gonna sleep well. So, Christmas list checking out for this portion of the video. Uh, tomorrow will be either the Maasai tribe or animals. So, I won't know until I wake up. So, you won't know until I wake up. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for staying tuned. If you like my content, hit subscribe. I'm almost at 200,000 subscribers, which is quite the accomplishment. And let me pat myself on the back. Who would have thought this little nerd from Toronto would have got 200,000 subscribers? Uh, but this is just the beginning. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to continue to get better at my craft uh, until I hit a, a million plus. So I'm not going anywhere. So guys, that's it. Long-winded goodbye. Love you. Have a good night.